Hello, the name of this story is The Black School. I think it does, I don't need to explain the title. Black is a color, school is where we all study. Um, in this story, this story is original from Iceland in the north, very north of Europe, okay? In the northern part of Europe, I, Iceland. And in this story, there was a school that was built, was created under the ground. So this is the ground, a tree, the ground, trees have roots and roots are under the ground. So in this story, the school was built under the ground. Normal schools, like our school, is built above the ground. But in this story, the school was built, built, constructed under the ground. Okay? Underground. It was an underground school. And this school was special, not just because it was built underground, but because the school had no windows. This is a window. The school had no windows. But in the school, There were no lamps. Is a lamp? No lamps. And in the school, there were no candles. There's a candle. Okay. No candles. So there was no light in the school. So the school was very dark. It was a black school. It was very dark. Everything was dark. No light. Okay? The school was also special because the students were wizards. The students were not normal students, they were wizards. And they learned, they didn't learn maths or language or science or anything that we usually study in a normal school. In this special school, students learned magic. Okay, they were wizards and they studied magic. And they had books. And the books were also special. They were also special because they produced the only light in the school. So the books Glowed. To glow is to make light. Okay. The letters in the books glowed in red. So when when they opened the books, the books glowed, produced red light. So there was light. There was red light, and that was the only light in the school, okay? 
But the school was special for more things. We said that it was black, dark, completely dark, no windows, no lamps, no candles. The students were wizards and they had uh, special books that glowed in red. But also the teachers were special. Teachers were not wizards. Teachers were were vampires. Vampires. Teachers were ghosts. Some teachers were vampires. Some, some, not all of them, just some teachers were vampires, some teachers were ghosts, some teachers were were demons. So, some teachers were demons, vampires, some were ghosts. But the principal, the headmaster, the boss in the school, the one who was really the boss, was even more special. He was the devil, the devil, he, the headmaster, the principal was the devil, uh, principal or headmaster. It's the same, or more or less the same. Uh, in a school, is the person who is the boss in the school. Okay? On top of the school, there's the principal, or the headmaster, and then the teachers. Okay? So, um, the devil was the principal in the school, and he was the worst of them all. He was a bad person. He was the worst. Okay? He was really bad. He was very bad. And... Hmm. The school was also special because the students s sleep in the school, slept in the school. So, they live there. Okay? So, they wake up in the morning, they ate the breakfast, they did the classes, the magic classes with the teachers. And they had lunch, they did more classes, and in the afternoon or at night they had dinner and they went to the bedrooms to sleep, okay? And to go to the bedroom, there was a corridor, okay? A corridor, there's a corridor. to go from one room to another room. There's a corridor. So there was a corridor to go to the, the door that led to the bedrooms. And all the students walked through the corridor and they opened the door and they crossed the door. The problem is that the principal, the devil,
the devil every day at night every day he or every night he stopped in front of the door and he let all the students cross the door except the last one okay so all the students crossed the door he opened the door the students crossed the door and when there was just one student he closed the door and the devil the principal of the school of the black school every day at night or every night he ate the last student last student the last one he ate the last student so all the students when it was bedtime they walked really fast through the corridor because no one wanted to be the last student okay and this was the black school the black school this special school was like that in the school there was also a special student or another student that the student This student, the name of this student was um, Simus, and Simus was, he was a good boy, but he liked to do jokes and tricks to his uh, friends or uh, the other students in the class, in the school, okay? He was well, he, he liked to do jokes and sometimes he did jokes that were a little bit hmm, aggressive or um, okay, let it go. <laughs> okay, um, Simus was a good boy. He was a good boy, but he loved to do jokes to the other students uh, or pranks. So he was a little bit mean because sometimes the jokes, hmm, the other students didn't like the jokes. Okay. But he was always, 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 always doing jokes. And one day he decided to do a joke not to a student but to a teacher okay so he Simus put this is a chair this was the teacher's chair that day the teacher was a vampire and he Simus put put some garlic in the teacher's chair okay and we know that vampires hate garlic okay and Simus put the garlic and the vampire didn't saw it didn't didn't see it he didn't see the garlic so the vampire the teacher sat down on the chair and he burned his butt okay he ow he burned the his butt because of the garlic so the teacher was angry and the teacher said to Simus okay 
Today, you will be the last student. The last student. Wow. So he was very angry. And that was something very bad, okay? But Simus was also very intelligent. So he had an idea and he thought, okay, I will be the last student, no problem. It's cool, no problem. Okay. Hours passed. They had dinner. It was dinner time, they had dinner, and then it was bedtime. So all the students had to go to the bedrooms. So they walked through the corridor and last student was Simus. But Simus, before going to the bedroom, before, Simus grabbed a book. He grabbed, he took a book and he walked through the corridor. He was the last student. So the headmaster, when he saw Simus and that he was the last student, the headmaster, the principal, <laughs> closed the door and he said, <laughs> you are the last student, so I'm going to eat you. That's the rule. But Simus opened the book and we know that the books, the letters in the book, glowed in red. So when Simus opened the book, there was red light coming from the book. And Simus, that was very intelligent, said to the headmaster, wait, stop, wait. I am not the last student. Because when, when Simus opened the book, there was There was his shadow, you know, the shadow, the shadow, the light produced a shadow, okay, the shadow. And Simus said, no, I'm not the last student. Look, this is the last student. He, he pointed, he didn't say, that's my shadow. No, he didn't say that. But he pointed at the shadow and he said, this is the last student. And the headmaster said, okay, you're right. That's the last student. So the headmaster grabbed and ate Simus' shadow. But Simus escaped and he walked, opened the door and walked to the bedroom and he escaped from the death. So he was happy, he was intelligent and he was happy. But from that moment, from that moment, Simus didn't have a shadow anymore. Okay, so the principal ate his shadow, so Simus didn't have shadow for the rest of his life. Okay, but he was alive. He didn't die. Okay but he had no shadow and that's the end of the story.